booktube it's louise the big head bookworm lovely to see you hope you're well hope you're having a good day wherever it is you are and whatever it is you're doing hello how are you how are you on this tuesday tuesday the 24th of march well well friends here we are we are sat in my car it's actually it's the husband's car because my car's suddenly got a warning light appear on it the other day and as the husband is working from home he said, take my car. And I was like, thank you very much, because I'm not sure why it's got that warning light in. Um, so here I am. So the idea is that of a lunchtime, a couple of times a week, I'm going to record a little five minute video where I talk about something bookish. I talk in my car park, <laughs> not my car park, the car park, staff car park outside the hospital where I work so occasionally a car will go past and you'll just have to cope with that I've got the window open because whew, it's quite warm in here um so it's a lovely lovely spring day here it was very very chilly this morning but it's glorious we've got most beautiful blue skies out there um so I've got the window open normally I do wear something that covers up my uniform when I'm outside of work just in case you were wondering um but it's so warm in here <laughs> that I have just taken off my my coat that I wear normally wear over it so you'll see me in my pharmacy green so yes I'm a training to be a pharmacy technician I'm a pre-reg pharmacy technician here at the hospital and it's very busy I have got very dry hands from all the hand washing that we're doing here it's a very funny day today because this is the day after and the car's going round again hello Hayley what are you doing that's my friend Hayley Please don't come apart near me and see that I'm talking to myself. I'm just going to have to get used to that, aren't I? Why is she driving around again? I don't know. Um, yes, let's... Uh, she's completely thrown me. What was I saying, Booktube? Oh, let me just say... Oh, yes, yesterday evening. So yesterday evening, the, pr the Prime Minister addressed the nation. He had a word with us, basically. He said, we're being naughty. We all had to stay in and think about what we were doing. So, yes, over the weekend, social distancing. It didn't really work. Everybody went to the parks. I didn't go to the parks. I was a good girl. Everybody went to the parks and to the beaches and, and all this kind of stuff and did not get the full idea of what social distancing is. Or it should be more physical distancing, as in you've got to not be near people because of the spread of the virus. Um, so future people that are watching this going, what are you talking about? It's the coronavirus. And uh, so he basically said to us, no, no, you can't go out to play now because you wouldn't, you weren't doing it properly. Nobody can go out to play. And you think about yourself. You think about what you've done. <laughs> so everybody's saying, so each day we come into work and go, it's gone crazy. Well, this has happened. This has happened now. So this is the day where it's really quiet in the hospital um, because so much has been closed down and then it's really busy in other places. It's it's a very bizarre day. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we've had a heavy heavy working morning. I'm just sitting on my lunch break. Beautiful. Enjoying the, the sun in my car. And then I have taught too long already. I'm now going to show you the book that I'm currently reading. I read, I managed to read about six pages of this last night before my eyes crossed and I went to sleep. The husband says, I basically power down at the end of the night. She says, you can almost hear, if you listen very clearly, the little noise of doo 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 of me going to sleep. Oh, you're in your car. You've been seeing me, watching me do this. Never mind, I'm just going to have to be good about that and not worry about it. Look me up, I'm Big Head Booktube, Big Head Bookworm on, on YouTube. Hello. Um, <clears throat> so let me show you the book. Oh, I was so excited. Another car. Might have to find somewhere else to record in future. Um, yes. So this is the book that I have been waiting for. The it's well. Let me just show you it. The glory of it. It is Hilary Mantel's The Mirror and the Light. <gasps> Look at the beauty of this enormous tome is it not glorious so i'm a huge hillary mantel fan um i read wolf hall which is this is the third book in the trilogy oh look at it this is beautiful blue i wonder if it has significance this blue it might do um so this is the third book in the trilogy that is about the life of Tr thomas cromwell who started as the son of a 
baker brewer i can't remember and um in tudor times and ended up um lord of the privy seal and was basically the number two in henry the eighth's time and he was a master spy and a master manipulator and a master politician and he was um a deal maker and he was a spider in lots of pies and this is the third book of his life wolf hall was the first book he was the one that basically arranged for um henry the eighth to leave the roman catholic church and become head of the church of england so that he can marry anne boleyn who's his second wife and then unfortunately he fell out of love with her because she didn't give him the son that she wanted and then he'd fall in love with somebody else and all that kind of thing and uh, the uh, we've just had the beheading of Anne Boleyn so the first book is Wolf Hall the second book is Bringing Up the Bodies and the third book is The Mirror and the Light and I oh geez it's just so amazing it's so amazing friends it's so amazing I absolutely love it uh, Wolf Hall the first one uh, I started reading it when it first came out in paperback I didn't read it in hardback and first time I read about 30 pages couldn't get into it second time I read it I read about 40 pages couldn't get into it third time I picked it up I was determined I was determined because I do love um, Tudor times and like books set in Tudor times I was determined I was determined to read it and so I managed I persevered and after about 60, pa 60 pages I got into the lyricism of it and I got into the the place and the language and her style of writing and I just adored it I adored it bringing out the bodies I just knew that that time you just have to kind of give yourself a bit of time to get into the language into the flow of it and I did and it was wonderful and then this is the third one and I I didn't have to struggle to get into it I was ready I th there's quite a long time between must be like four or five years between bringing up the bodies and and this one coming out um we had some secret intel in the family because the husband worked with Hilary Mantel's brother <gasps> And so I kept saying, could you ask him? <laughs> could you ask him if it's if it's coming anytime soon? Because I just, I need, I need it. And so I was so happy when it did come out. I pre-ordered it and I received it on the day it was published. Um, and so even though I've not been able to read masses re recently, I was determined to start this. I am, let's see how many pages in. I'm 106 in and it's 100 and it's 800 and something long. Let's have a look. 875 pages long, so I've got a while to go. It is taking me a while because I just don't have the headspace. Look at that, it really matches me. It's like it's a pharmacy book. So yeah, there we go. That's the book that I'm reading at the moment and it's wonderful. Um, so yes, there we go. This is my first lunchtime. I won't do that right now. Uh, this is the first lunchtime video and I hope to do this a couple of times a week. Hope you're well, hope you're having a good day and you're okay and your anxiety is not too high and that you're finding some solace in reading. Thank you so much to everybody that left comments uh, either on my Instagram or on my last video. It was overwhelming, overwhelming in its loveliness and I have missed you too. This has been lovely booktube. I look forward to doing it again.